Well, I've become grossly inconvenient, so I figured I would do the second video right now. We have the dashboard. Let's do the profile. If we go to profile, we're going to get nothing but an error message. So we're going to change all that. Let's users file. We'll go to index dot php. So now we have that. We'll go here. <clears throat> we're just getting so route get profile. We'll pass the user object. Will you stop doing that when I'm in the middle of something? And we'll say what class it is. Controller class and what function we're looking at. Now, what are you doing? Now we go over to the controller. Well, let's get rid of this for a sec. I already have it. Do I have it? No, that's the one. What is this? Yeah, that's the line again now. We'll go back to that in a sec. And let's pass that. Index user user. Again, we don't need to go nuts with all of the information because we're going to get it from the users. So I'll show you what I mean. With the profile, we want to show the picture. We want to show. And we'll go back to the layout for a sec. Over here. Where is my profile? profile. Okay. What did I call it? I said profile, and then we'll just go auth. I don't even think I need to say auth user ID, but I'll do it anyway. Did I call it profile? I hope I did. No, yeah, I called it profile. Okay. And we'll say that. So if I go like this, there we go. Now again, I, I could, and I'll show you, if you do something like this where you go profile, auth, user, ID, let me just see if I'm right. Edit, and you don't have an edit page. No, all right, we're good. Oh wait, I didn't put the layout in yet. Let's go to the index. Let's see if I'm right. Extends layout. And now if, let's go if uh, auth user ID does not, e does not equal user ID. It's a blade. You can do this. Then we'll go section title if it does not even then we'll go user username hat wait uh was it like this was it like that else section title your profile I think we, I think we had to do it that way. I could be wrong. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So it's your fault. So far, it hasn't screamed and yelled. All right, and we could just put that in there. So we might as well just put all the all the links in there. It's called being a little bit too careful. We'll just do that. Okay. So there we are. We have that. We have that, and we have that. Where am I? There we go. So when we go to somebody else's profile, when we make another user, we should see their username profile. Let me just double check. So let me look at my notes. Let me go way out. Uh, let me go to users index. Right, okay. That's the way we would do it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now <clears throat> we go section content. 
<coughs> and end section. <coughs> Jeez. Okay. Time to make it. Profile wrapper. Wrapper. And, hmm. Oh, yeah, I made it where I had the info first and the picture in the bottom. So, again, we'll do another. We'll go if auth user ID does not equal user ID, then we'll go. We'll do an H3 <coughs> class. Jeez. <coughs> Get that out of there. There we go. user username well, the reason why we're doing this is because you can look at other people's profiles you can't look at other people's dashboards and we'll put dude we'll put that together put that together later on where we'll, we'll authorize that only users, only the logged in user can go to their own dashboard and everything, just in case. Your profile. And now we're gonna make the next div, which is profile interior no profile interior stop doing that profile <laughs> interior there we, are. there we are and how did i do i mean i forgot i don't mean i don't want to go to the end like let me go to the index i forgot how okay so i did profile left and profile right so put it all in the profile info. Make sure I do that right. And we'll say profile left. And we'll say profile right. I could just copy paste all this, but I'm not going to because that's lazy. And profile left, we'll just do a... For this first one, we'll just do a, I did put the picture first. We'll just do a, wait, hold on. We'll put in another div, we'll call it profile picture. And we'll go image source equals. And actually wait, do I? Yeah, no, I, hold on. Do I need the whole thing? I forgot. Yeah, okay. So equals user info pick. No, uh, get pick, what do they call it? Get pick. I'm not gonna touch the height or anything right now. We're gonna leave it alone for a sec. It will make things a little nasty, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. And then we'll do another profile info. And yeah, might as well profile left. This one will be uh, a span profile title. And it'll be first name. And then profile right, do another span, profile info, and it'll be if user info, for, was it first name? Now we touched up on relationships in the last one, so just to, no wait, just to, as you can see, first name, last name, there it is. Just to reemphasize the point, 
the info belongs, now this is a lot easier because there's only one info per user, so the info belongs to the user. So all we need to do is get the user's numbers and stuff and then get the info from that user and then we can access everything within the info. So the user's object in connection to the info object can now give us this simple relationship where we don't need to connect get the info's information from the user with the ID. Now we could just say the user object, the info from the user object, bam, first name. And then we can go if that equals blank, then we'll end if there, then we're just going to process a another span of no data and we'll say no Oh, no, I'll, we'll say uh, not available. And we'll just do it else. And the else will be user else. User info first name. Obviously, you got to tell what else it should be doing in case it's not true, the initial condition. Son, you've got a condition. Yep. Span, profile title. Ah, fuck. There we go. Last name. And same thing. Profile right, spin profile info. If user info last name equals blank, and I can make a function for this too, but we're not going to use it enough. And we're going to go span no data not available. And at that point, we will then else this, else user info last name. And if. Next will be the, I could put the, I don't think I'm gonna put the email address. Let me see, the email address isn't, isn't even the info. Location and then pick, and then we'll just do a uh, create that, which will be easy. Profile, profile left. So I put spans in there because spans don't get affected by anything other than just styling the actual text inside. So sometimes it could be annoying. Location. Location, location, location. Profile right. And sometimes you'll be like, hey, let's span that. And you'll say, hey, look, I'm going to span this and change its color and, so and nothing happens. And you're going, what? If user info locate. Did I call it location or loc? I forgot. Location. Location equals blank. Then at that point, we're going to, yes, hold on. We're going to span no data. Let's say not available. And then we'll say else, and then we'll make it available. User info location. And if. Right. And then we'll do one last one, just to give you an idea of what it will look like. I should probably put the camera down a little bit. My camera's sitting on the top of my monitor, so I kind of have to be careful with moving it too much. Profile left. Span profile title will be... Joined on... And then we'll go like this. 
This one will always have information because you've always joined. You wouldn't be a member if you didn't join or a user. So we'll get to see what profile info is going to look like. Span profile info. And that will be blah, blah. Time for some date time stringing changes. So we're going to make a date. And I can make this into a function too because I'm going to be using this a lot. I should make this into a function, actually. Whatever. Month, day, year, G, I, Joe, A. String, str string to time. User created at. So the date tells what format the create at date, since it goes in like a date, like this, like a string date, you have to turn that to time. Time in PHP Unix or basically any database is a number of seconds since December 31st, 1970, or minutes or something like that. And it knows what to do with that. That should be it. So now, I mean, we have the edit profile up here. If you want, you can put a link down here if you're the user, but why it's up on top. You can say, well, convenience, whatever. So let's take a look. So as you can see, that's nasty, but we have the joined on 228, 232, it's 836. So there we go. We just need to fix this up. And let's do that. What do we have in terms of oh, we're at a decent time? I still have to be prepared for getting a phone call. If the phone rings and I go answer it, I might not, but if it does, then if you watch my videos on CD Bookman Gaming, the CD Bookman Gaming channel, when I finally am able to start this next Let's Play, you'll hear all about what happened. So don't worry, I don't want to do that now. I'll just introduce it like a bitch, but let me see. Profile it was it, I think it was info. Hold on. Did I, did I go, did I do that through the info? I, I just have to double check myself. Oh, hold on. Public. Let me see. Profile, profile, profile. Forms. As you can see, when I originally put this together, the forms first. I don't want to do that right now. So profile interior, profile info. So it was profile info. So it's these. Okay. So profile info will be display flex. Justify content. Space between. The profile interior, however, I want to make it not as wide as the overall wrapper. So we'll say width of 600 pixels and we'll say padding five pixels. And the profile info should basically be, yeah, so there you go. Now, let's put a little space between. Oh wait, I can just do it right here. Let's do this margin bottom. 10 pixels, give it a little space. No, well, maybe not that much space. That's a little bit too much space. Five. Let's change that picture. That picture is driving me crazy, and I'm hoping it's driving you crazy because I don't think you want a picture that big. But the image, okay, so profile picture. Let's go like that. I like to put everything in order. Picture will just be with of 80 pixels height of 80 and you could just do that in line and profile picture im image will be width 100 percent height 100 percent and border radius of 50 percent don't think i really need to go through all that but there you have it so there's your picture it's too close for me, so we'll just also put a margin bottom of 10 pixels. And if you wanted, you could sort of change the size of the picture. I mean, the last time we did it, we had the 
the whole, and let's do a margin top too while we're at it. We had the picture like as a whole banner almost. It's up to you. Let me see what 20 pixels would look like. Yeah, that's pretty good, but oh no, not margin. Margin top. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. Didn't really move much. Uh, well, from the margin anyway. So there's your profile. Now I just want to know why. Hold on. Why does that look like it's squished up? Profile info. Oh shit, that's not good. <laughs> I just realized that. Information. Let's do that. Information. No. Yeah. Now that's too squished up. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, let's do a margin bottom of, let's say 15. 15 pixels should be good. There you go. I want it, it. Does this? Does that look clean to you? No, that, that looks okay. Maybe we should squish this up a little closer. I think 600 might be a little bit too far apart. Let's say 450. I don't want it to be too close. And then, yeah, that's better. I like that better. You can do whatever you want. Now I want to change the the info. Let's let's change the profile left. Let's keep using that, that font of ours. Font size, we'll say 18 pixels and font family, we'll do the Oswald and the Ariel and everything. Okay, so let's do that. Gives a little bit more space. Is that Oswald? Yeah, that should be Oswald. I spelt it right, didn't I? Yeah. Still look that different. And that will just keep as is until we start posting things in there. The only thing we need now, again, to change the picture and to change this is we need to be able to edit our profile. Let's put that together. The edit profile. I just want to say, okay. The edit profile is a little bit different. I don't need this anymore. Then what we would be used to when making these pages because the edit, well, not so much the edit profile, the edit profile is just going to be an, a profile user edit. And again, we're not gonna talk about, we're gonna make that policy thing. To ensure that only the, the logged in user can edit their profiles. <laughs> That you could add your somebody else's profile. Oh, we got a call in there. We'll do that later, but for now, let's just put this together because even though I, I'm really still upset with what happened, <laughs> and even though I didn't, I didn't make a full video. I only made like about an 11 minute video last time. I still don't want to make videos that are like 40 minutes long again. Edit profile. And then section content. Now tell me I don't have a, a page, you bastard. What? Oh, I didn't put that in yet. Oh, you gotta do that. So again, the edit is just basically, a, it's everything, it's any other public function in this class. Edit, user, you can call it user or loser, it's up to you, I don't really care. It's up, totally your prerogative. Edit, user, user. But the way we're gonna put this together is gonna be a little bit different, as I was kind of saying before, because the, and while we're at it, let's just do this. We only had to hit enter once. Public function update. 
We're going to use the update naming convention. And we have to do a response. When you want to pass two variables, you just easily just put a comma in there. It's not a big deal. And we'll get into that later. So let's just make... Now, as I said, if you use the PHP standard create controller, you can have the controller automatically put all these naming conventions in. I don't do that because it doesn't take much to make a controller class. And on top of it, I don't really want to use their naming conventions per se. It's up to you if you want to. You can just, again, you could just go to the terminal. You can just CD out of this, CD out of that, CD, X, AMP, HT docs, facum. And you could just do a PHP artisan make. If you don't know what to make, you could just do one of these and it'll show you what your options are. Make channel, make command. You could just make a controller and then call it a whatever controller. And then at that point, it'll make the controller with whatever it needs to use and all the naming conventions. I think that it's index, edit, update, create, store, delete. Those are the naming indexes that Laravel or basically any kind of framework pretty much puts everything in, but you don't need to go through all that. You don't need to call them all that. Now with the, the update, it's a little different because we're not going to use post. We want to update it. So update would be a patch. And that would be profile user update, which would be in the user's controller. And that'll be a class of, whoops, a class of update. So when you want to update something, it's best to use patch, making it a little bit easier and cleaner. Otherwise, it's going to give you error messages if you try to use post. Patch means you're patching it up. And when we go here to the actual edit, we'll, we'll say, um, we'll go edit, wrapper, wrapper. And then we'll go, H3, main heading, and we'll say edit your profile. And then in there, we're going to use the form, and we're going to use post. But since we're not going to be doing any kind of JavaScript with this one, we're going to actually put in a method, and the method is going to be profile. You can do other things, like you can just do, you know, you, you can use PHP functionality or, or global variables in here. I'm just going to show you the, the way that I appreciate because I can see it better and it, it's, there's, no, there's no confusion or whatever. Just put in the, just put the link in there. And then in here we have to use our CRSF and we have to put in method patch. This way it knows it's going to be updating and it's not going to be creating a new one or whatever. Because if you do... If you just make it a regular form and not a patch form and you try to update it, the functionality won't work. You'll actually have to try to sort of delete and it's just a mess. So just you put in patch, it knows, or you can put in put, whatever, it's up to you. We're going to use patch and then we're going to do our usual form areas and we're going to do our usual input text and we just need a name, main input. We don't need an ID, and that will be edit you edit first name. And then we'll go, we'll do a little if statement in here. If user first user info first name equals blank, then the placeholder will equal first name else the value will equal info first name. Now, PHP has other methods, too, that you can use. You can say stuff like old, whatever. Again, I just like doing things like this because it makes it easier for me to just to visualize and see it. It's, you can do whatever you want. It's, and then we're going to do the, the thing that we always do, which is our paragraph and that is the error paragraph. And we don't really need to give this an ID, but let me just make sure I have the actual, let me see, where is it? It's first name. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I could just call first. No, it's not a big deal. Right, so, <clears throat> so since we make our own errors, we just got to do if errors. How do I? How do I do it? Sorry. Double checking has. Right. Has edit first name. Then we're going to post the errors. Errors first. So basically the same thing that we did before when we were using JavaScript. Just now it's, it's in the front. It's on the pa page itself. And again, this is how pretty much, I mean, there's, there's a little bit less... A little bit less actual s styling conventions and stuff like that because again laravel is put together pretty much with bootstrap so it already has its own error errors standard it's placeholder but we're just styling it ourselves, so just to give you an idea, I mean, it, it's a lot. E it's a lot easier than I'm showing to use Laravel if you just want to go straight up out of what, straight up what it has out of the box, as opposed to kind of making up your own styling and everything and styling conventions. But why would I want anything to be easier? And then again, if errors as edit last name. Print out our errors last edit. Last conventional text one. Edit location. Else. Info location. And lastly, uh, let's do that first. If errors has edit location. And we are gonna have to change the 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 attributes to these. What am I doing there? I want the first. Not the last. There's no, you could probably do the last, but <clears throat> that has no bearing to me whatsoever. Form area, last one is input file. And the name is edit pick. And I think I can... The only way that you can really style a form button is you kind of have to make it disappear and then, so I don't, I don't feel like doing that. You could, you can just, you can make it, you basically have to style, you have to make the file button itself sort of invisible. I don't know why it's like that, but you have to make it invisible and then sort of style a button on top. It's weird. So we'll just do it like this. Oops. And just to double check. And then of course the button. We'll make the Yeah, we'll just do it this is an old fashioned way. Value equals edit. 
and class equals primary button. And name, what's the name will be, did I do it like this? I don't think I did. Let me double check. I think I just made a button last time. It's so much easier. You don't really need to. You just make a button. But whatever. Yeah, we'll just do that. And we'll take a look. What line was that? Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. The hell are you talking about? Okay, so I missed something here. If, blah, 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 and if, I didn't do an end if in a lot of places, actually. <laughs> Always close out your end ifs. Close out your ifs. Okay, so there's our, there's, and you know, I don't even think I need to change this at all. I, I think this is fine. So we didn't, we have to program, we have to tell it what, to, what errors to put in there, but we're at about 40 minutes. So I'll stop here, we'll, we'll finish up the edit format and then we'll see how it relates to our profile and everything. And then we'll start doing the forum, which is gonna be the fun part because that's when we're gonna really use the JavaScript. So I'll see you then.